Hi, this is Connie from Thrifty Gal Collectibles. Welcome to my channel. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and locally in my hometown at the Old Factory in Hummelstown. I wanted to show you today some of the things that I picked up that will be going to my booth at the Old Factory and some stuff that's going to be going online. The first thing I picked up today was this child's chair. It's very cute and it's all metal. It's got a, be a, a bend on it here. I'm going to show you the, the tag on the back. It says a Catalina, Catalina creation by Blazon. Blazon. Very 60s. Very cute. And overall it's okay. It just has you know, some bends and dent, dents in it. So that's going to go to the old factory. I also picked up this really cool parrot. I apologize for the light. He's pretty long. He's ceramic. Very colorful. And again, I apologize for the light. It's not the best in here. And I'm going to take him down to the old factory as well. So he'd be great hanging on a porch or in a room, a bright colored room. If you want a parrot, this is the best way to get it. No feeding, no, no care, no, no worries. And of course, Vera Bradley, because I love Vera Bradley. So I think everybody else should love Vera Bradley. <laughs> so I picked up this cute little purse. I was thinking about keeping it for myself, but mm, it's a little too small for me. And the color, I'm not a big pink person. So that'll go either in my Poshmark store or eBay. Not sure yet. This thing here, I'm not quite sure what it is but it is a tribal it's wooden very tribal looking great for the man cave very tiki that's a good word for tiki i'm going to put that in my booth as well because i like interesting stuff i found this vintage bordalo cabbage chip and dip which you don't see very often and it's in good shape no chips or cracks and I believe I'll put that either in my Etsy or eBay store I haven't decided yet and of course I can't turn down jewelry and that is Sarah Coventry it's a big pin and I think it can be a brooch or I'm, not, I'm sorry where did it go there it is <laughs> it can also be a neck nope sorry just a pin it's very large and I picked up this antique not antique vintage butterick pattern the instructions are in there and um, does not look to be cut. I didn't get it out of the bag yet, so there that is. Um, last week we picked up this little metal wagon and my husband had a box that he had built and it fit perfectly on top. So he fit that on there and that cute little wagon is going to my old factory booth. And let's see what else have we got here. Uh, I got some Christmas stuff. I, I put it away already though. <laughs> but I do have this uh, Kugel for the for winter or for Christmas. And a cute little bird cage or decorative cage. And I found her made in Japan. And she's a planter. So I think she'll either go on Etsy or eBay. One of them. And some great looking wooden hangers. These, these are wonderful. People like them for crafting and, and hanging up old clothes. You can never have enough wooden hangers. No wire hangers. Remember that. And last, not, last but not least is this cute little mug. Uh, it has cats on it. It is Paul Cardew from England. And that is going to go in my eBay store. So these are just some of the things I picked up. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. The butterfly. I actually made this. These are Hom Homco butterflies. And they hang on the wall. But the holders were broken. So I decided to tie them together with a little bit of jute. And 
they'll make a nice wall hanging. And I'm going to take those to the old factory as well. So thanks again for coming by. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell for to get notifications. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. T-Gal out.